Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. You have a gravid female boa and you're really excited, but it's now been more than 105 days after the post ovulation shed and no babies. Where are the babies and what do you do next? Well, that's what I'm going to explore in today's episode. And this is a question I get every year. Someone emails me or messages me pretty much almost every day sometimes asking about where's my babies? It's been 110 days, it's been 111 days, etc, etc, etc. So there are a number of reasons why this is the case and I'm going to touch on some of these reasons. I'm in this boat myself. I have a boa now. It's been I think about 130 days since its last shed. I know she's gravid but she hasn't delivered and you know the 105 day mark came and nothing and then 110 and 115 and I was checking on her about 700 times a day and then I finally came to the conclusion the shed she had was not the post ovulation shed and she's not going to deliver based on that and I just have to keep a close eye on her see what happens she's going to deliver eventually I just don't know exactly when and so when you breed boas typically what happens you put them together they may start courting immediately and copulating it may take months but at some point after this your female is going to ovulate and the eggs are going to be released and fertilized and then she is going to go into a shed cycle and the ovulation can happen even if the male's not there the females can store sperm so this can happen anywhere from a month to many months after you introduce them it's not always predictable anyway the female goes into a shed cycle the shed cycle typically will last about twice as long as normal about two weeks or so and then she um, ends up shedding and many females are a little bit darker after this but that is known as the post ovulation shed and typically it's about 105 days from the post ovulation shed until the babies are born post ovulation sheds about 15 days after ovulation so the total gestation from ovulation to birth is about 120 days or four months so the first thing that may have happened and this is often the case is that it's not going to be exactly 105 days after the post ovulation shed snakes are not robots they don't always behave the same it's going to be a variation and it can be anywhere from in my experience about 95 days maybe even earlier than that around 90 days sometimes they're a little bit premature all the way up to 120 125 days that's normal okay so it could be a hundred and you know 13 days your boa hasn't bred or hasn't delivered yet that's normal okay and for some types of boas like true red tails I found that typically they do take longer most of my true red tails take somewhere around 110 to 120 days after the post ovulation shed and this is completely normal I found some of the boa imperator take a little bit less sometimes 95 to 100 days again it's normal but if your boa imperator takes 115 days also normal okay every snake is different not something to worry about it's going to be a range of different durations the second reason why your post ovulation shed date has come and gone is that the shed was not actually a post ovulation shed and that's what I think is going on right now with me with this uh, boa that's now I think about 130 days after the last shed sometimes boas don't have a post ovulation shed this happens probably about five to ten percent of the time you know I don't really know why I don't think uh, who knows why it's just it's biology biology is never a hundred percent so sometimes they just don't have a post ovulation shed and so if this is the case basically you just have to observe them and make careful notes about um, where they are as far as being gravid you know if a bow is gravid she will give some pretty definite signs of being gravid so you just watch them and monitor your boa and typically if it's gone you know a few months into being gravid it gets more and more likely for it to deliver and it should be as I mentioned about four months or so of being gravid until it delivers of course another way of predicting the birth is just to know when a snake ovulated because you're looking at about four months right so if you have watched your boa carefully and you noticed an ovulation that's great you write it down you can also use that to tell you when the birth is going to happen 
However, you might not see the ovulation. Sometimes in some types of boas, like true red tails, it's pretty subtle. You may have missed it. Or you may have just not checked in on your snake during the time it was ovulating. So a lot of times people miss ovulations. Typically, I don't see them, to be honest. I'm not always poking in on my snakes during the breeding trials. I give them a lot of space. So a lot of times I miss the ovulations. So if that's the case, you just have to go by the post ovulation shed. And if you don't have it, it makes it a little bit more difficult to tell. The other possibility, of course, is that the shed that you saw is not the post ovulation shed. And there are a number of reasons this can be the case. So when snakes go into, you know, becoming gravid after the post ovulation shed, sometimes they have another shed typically about a month to a month and a half after the post ovulation shed, you know, a month to two months really, in the middle of the gravid period. And that's normal, you know, and it probably happens about a third of the time. And so sometimes people will see the uh, shed that happens in the middle and they'll mistake it for the post ovulation shed, okay? And if this happens, your boa is going to deliver early. And I've had this happen actually a couple times with my Pearl Island boas because they breed so fast and they become gravid so fast. They have sometimes the post ovulation shed in December. And uh, that's really, really early for any boa to have a post ovulation shed in my experience. I mean, I know this now from experience, so I know to watch out for my uh, Pearl Island boas to have a very early post ovulation shed. But in the past, I've mistaken the mid uh, gravid shed for the post ovulation shed and my boas end up, or the, my boa ended up having the babies about a month and a half early, which was, you know, kind of a nice surprise. But it also happens a lot the opposite where an earlier shed that's not the post ovulation shed is mistaken for a post ovulation shed. So 105 days comes, nothing, 110, 115, and then you start to think, well, was that really the post ovulation shed? And it turns out that the shed after that, you know, typically a month and a half or two months become, later becomes the post ovulation shed. And this has happened to me a number of times. And it means you just have, you know, you have an additional month and a half to two months to wait for your babies. And I know waiting for babies is really difficult sometimes, but uh, you just got to do it and, you know, enjoy the anticipation. Try not to stress out too much. The babies are gonna come eventually. There's a couple other ways that you can mistake a shed that's not the post ovulation shed for the post ovulation shed. And one possibility is you mistake the shed of the male for the shed of the female. And if you have breeding trials still going on during the time that your female is ovulating, or, you know, or around that time, this can happen. And it's happened with me, to be honest. Um, so typically I keep my animals together until I'm sure that the female's gravid. I just want to make sure that the male has done his job. And what I'll do is I'll check to make, see when they're going into a shed cycle, if the eye is becoming cloudy, they're going opaque. And I'll write that on my record card. So that way I know if I find a shed a few days later and the male was going into shed, I know that that's the male and it's not from the female, so it's not the post ovulation shed. And I'll also write, of course, for the female. And typically with the female, if it is a post ovulation shed, I'll notice it's a longer period from the time she went into the cycle, she started to look cloudy, to when she actually sheds, typically about two weeks or so. And that gives me a really good confidence that I have the true post ovulation shed. Another possibility is you just didn't see the shed. So sometimes a female might shed, you might not notice. It might be buried in the substrate and get thrown away. Pretty unlikely, but it is in the realm of possibility. So, uh, you know, just to be complete, I thought I would mention that one. And then finally, and we don't want this to happen, is that there's something wrong, okay? Something medically wrong with your snake. And it was a post ovulation shed and you're now way past the due date and she hasn't delivered. So this is pretty unlikely. I know people get really antsy if they go way past the post ovulation shed and nothing has happened. But you know, the vast majority of times, if you've done your homework and you've provided the right conditions, the right temperatures, the right water, etc., for your female, she's probably not gonna have any issues. And if she's sitting there over the hot spot, not really moving, just doing the same thing she's been doing the last few months, 
chances are very very good there's no medical issue it's just you know you haven't had the babies for one of the reasons I mentioned previously if there is a medical issue chances are your female is going to start to behave differently she's going to potentially be moving a lot more she's going to be clearly in distress it's probably going to be pretty obvious that something's wrong you don't want to confuse the normal behavior that a female boa does you know a week or two before the birth normally she's going to be moving around more looking for a nest you know sometimes lining up against the side of the cage that's normal but if a female is behaving really erratically uh, you know looking in this clear dis clearly in distress there might be something wrong and again it's pretty rare I've never had this happen but I just mention it because it is a possibility but uh, the first place you should go if you're in this situation is not a medical emergency chances are very very good that everything's okay and you just need to wait a little bit longer so should you bring your boa to the vet if the post ovulation shed has come and gone the date and no babies probably not in fact if she's just sitting there not moving and just everything is the same I would definitely not recommend taking her to the vet you do you want to disturb a gravid female boa as little as possible give them their space don't pick them up don't touch them if you don't have to and you definitely don't want to put her in a snake bag and take her to a vet because there's a good chance you might disturb her you might trigger a premature birth you know the babies might be born dead because they're not yet developed uh, she could go into complications from trying to deliver early it's really a bad idea to move a gravid snake so only if there's clearly clearly something wrong and it's been a very long time and you've exhausted all other possibilities should you consider taking her to the vet in my experience and then you want to make sure you have a qualified vet because the vast majority of vets they don't really know much of anything about reptiles specifically boas even the ones who claim to be exotic animal vets you know I went to a vet many years ago with a boa uh, with a you know uh, reproductive related question and issue and the vet thought that boas laid eggs so that right there is a pretty bad sign about your boa your vet's knowledge of boas and in my experience every single boa i've had over the years that has been gravid or that i thought was gravid has eventually delivered something not always a nice litter sometimes it's slugs sometimes they've had you know babies that are all stillborn it happens but there is always a conclusion to the, uh, you know, the, when the females gravid. Something happens eventually. And if it doesn't, the female was never gravid. And that can happen too. And typically uh, you sh would figure out much earlier the female wasn't gravid. Um, for example, I have a few females that I just ended breeding trials for 2024. They didn't become gravid. They're clearly not gravid. They're not going to be gravid this year and that's just part of breeding so maybe next year they'll enter into breeding trials again and we'll you know give it another try eventually there will be some kind of conclusion and your female will deliver or you know like i mentioned she just wasn't gravid so just try to relax don't stress out too much and enjoy every step of the way anticipating those beautiful baby boas i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions or comments shoot me a line thanks for watching and enjoy your boas